Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love reading for March. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Aquarius, let's take a look at what's going on between you and your person. This is a love connection reading, so it has to be somebody that you actually know and believe you have an actual connection with. You can be together, you can not be together, whatever your situation is. But you definitely have to know each other and believe there is some sort of connection there. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Male, female, doesn't matter. Only take what resonates, throw away the rest. If it's not fitting for you at all, and it's probably not your reading, don't try to make it fit. Um, it can be past, present, or future. So let's see what's going on with Aquarius at this time. I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, links below in the description box for your Love in General playlist, along with decks I'm using, um, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading, if you'd like to tip or donate all or send a gift, all that information is below. And I'll also pin some of that to the top comment. Okay, so Aquarius, let's see what's going on for you in love at this time. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. We get a sign, element, or a planet. And if you don't resonate with whatever comes out here, totally fine. All right, so Aquarius, can we get a sign, element, or... Oh, that's too many planet for Aquarius, please. Thank you so much. Filling that one. Libra. So some of you could be dealing with an air sign, a Libra, or they could have it in their chart. Maybe you have Libra in your chart. So however that resonates for you, if that does not resonate, totally fine. Totally fine. Okay. So let's see what's going on with you, Aquarius. Let's get it. Get an opening message, love message love energy between you and your person whoever you're thinking about for this reading at this time spirit please thank you so much what is the current love energy between aquarius and whoever they are thinking of at this time spirit please thank you so much we get a love energy for aquarius thank you one card please thank you so much oh that's two but i guess that one it is safe for you to love again. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So if you're not sure if it's safe to love this person, I think it is. So let's see. So what I'm going to do, Aquarius, is I'm going to put you here, your person here, and we'll get how you're both feeling about each other and the connection. So let's get one for Aquarius and one for their person spirit, please. How they're feeling about each other and the connection at this time. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, Aquarius, let's get one for your person. All right, what do we have, Aquarius? Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. So you're definitely feeling the chemistry for this person, about this person, with this person, however that resonates for you. You're definitely feeling that to see how your person feels. They are calling in their soulmate. Your prayers and affirmations help and visual, visualizations help bring you together. So this person definitely feels you are their soulmate and you definitely feel the chemistry. And I definitely feel like it is safe to love in this situation if you're feeling a little insecure about that. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So you may have an issue about feeling uh, maybe you don't feel like you're worthy of this type of love or this type of person. Uh, maybe you're not feeling confident enough for some of you. But just feel confident in knowing that this person feels like you're their soulmate. And they want you to feel safe to love them. That you feel it is safe enough to love them wow but you definitely feel the chemistry between the two of you all right so let's see let's clarify this information for you Aquarius. and i just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers those who have tip donated sent a gift reached out for personal reading all your support really does mean a lot to me so thank you thank you thank you and we just reached ten thousand subscribers so in honor of that i am doing a free deck giveaway along with a free 20 minute reading by me <clears throat> so to enter, I will leave um, the link below. I made a comment in the uh, discussion community portion of the channel. So I will leave a link to that so you can go over there and it'll tell you how to enter the contest and the steps you need to take in order to win the deck of uh, cards 
in the reading. I will do your reading with that deck that I am giving away, and then I will send it to you. So the contest is open till the end of March, and then I will be picking the winner sometime the beginning of April. So if you're interested in that, check below. I'll probably put it in the description box and in the top comment on how to enter. So good luck if you do. All right, so Aquarius, Aquarius, what's going on, Aquarius? So we have the Page of Swords, that's your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, air energy there. <clears throat> Let's get one more. In the Six of Wands, so you're feeling... <laughs> There can be success and victory in this connection. There can be, because it's right here with the Six of Wands. Very fiery, passionate, successful connection here. But there needs to be open, honest, truthful communication here between the two of you. With the Page of Swords energy, you could be just be watching each other. Uh, it could be at work, could be, you know, in social circles, it could be online. It could be an energy of just watching. But there needs to be honest communication here about this connection. You need to tell them how you feel. So let's see what they have. So they have the nine of wands. So they may have been fighting and fighting for your attention, for your love. They're definitely trying to call you in. They, you may be somebody who also is very successful in life in general. And they could be watching you. And they're trying like the Dickens here to get your attention. Ace of Wands, yeah, they, they want this fiery, passionate, a lot of fire here, definitely with the chemistry. They want this fiery, exciting, passionate new beginning with you, but they definitely feel like you're their soulmate. So I do feel like there's a love here too, not just passion, but there definitely is a strong chemistry between the two of you. <coughs> they really, really want to fight for you. They want to fight for your attention. They want to fight for this. They don't want to give up. And I think you feel the chemistry. You feel like this could be something very successful, but yet uh, you could be just not saying anything, just be like watching them or watching them online. But there definitely needs to be open communication between the two of you. So let's see what the actual situation is. The Five of Pentacles energy on your side, along with the Three of Cups. <laughs> wow. So I feel like, yeah, you're, you've been tired. You're tired here of being alone being lonely, neglected, rejected, left out in the cold, abandoned kind of energy, maybe from past relationships or just love in general. Now you're wanting to come together, have a good time, reunite, uh, or just come together and go out, maybe go out for a date or something like that, or go out in a social circle, maybe, you know, a double date or something like that. You're definitely wanting to get out there and socialize and uh, have some fun maybe just dating again, but I feel like, you know, there definitely is a person that you have your eye on. So the energy between the two of you is the hangman. So things kind of being still stagnant, no action being taken, just kind of watching and not really taking action. But the hangman usually gains enlightenment on the situation, see things from a new perspective. So I think if you could see things in a new perspective, gain enlightenment that you are worthy and you know, loving yourself and you are worthy of this connection, of this chemistry, of this passion, of this love that you can come together with this person with the Three of Cups energy. So what else here for this situation? Nine of Cups. You are their wish and dream come true. They want this happiness and joy with you, this love with you because the cups are about love and emotions. So they're definitely wanting that. You are their wish and their dream and they want fulfillment with you. But they're feeling kind of hurt. You know, they're just kind of waiting. They don't know what's going on here. Um, you know, this healing, thinking, contemplating, you know. I, I don't think they're even dating anyone else. I think they're just kind of waiting for you and they're feeling a little hurt that maybe you aren't either re responding to them or communicating to them uh, kind of energy. And they're just kind of waiting it out, resting, rejuvenating, healing, contemplating, thinking, you know, what's going on with this person. It's just in the standstill right here. 
Wow. Okay. I think they're waiting on communication from you or something. All right. So let's see what the advice is for this connection for you, Aquarius. Three of Wands. Two of Wands. Wow. A lot of fire here. <coughs> Still... Still have a little bit lingering from the flu I had a couple weeks ago. Three swords. And the page of pentacles. So the advice here. I definitely feel like there is pain and heartache between the two of you. I don't, I'm not sensing like any kind of like third party or anything like that. I feel like. There is a mutual attraction. Maybe you have dated this person and they wanted something more serious and maybe you kind of like held back and it's like, I, I don't know, um, kind of energy. Maybe they're waiting for you to make a decision on whether or not to either date exclusively or be committed or something like that. But I think they're feeling the pain and the heartache here of waiting for you and not knowing what's going on and feeling kind of rejected. Because we have a card of waiting here and hurt and pain. But we have the two of wands about being at a crossroads and needing to make a decision. Then we have stable uh, communication here, sta stable, secure offer. So I feel like if there was an offer that came into you from this person, it is stable, it is secure, it's grounded, it's smart, it's practical, it's for the long term. They definitely see long term with you. And they're definitely heartbroken because you either didn't accept or you haven't answered or whatever here and they're waiting they're waiting for you to make a decision here so the advice here is a decision needs to be made on something i feel like you can trust an offer that you can trust there's definitely pain and hurt here i feel like in the, in the other person all right so they definitely i feel want uh long term with you and I do see passion and love. So what is a possible outcome? So we have the seven of wands energy. A ten of swords. E. And the knight of pentacles energy. <clears throat> so the seven of swords, uh, wands here is about not fighting, uh, not giving up and fighting, standing your guard being a little defensive or just fighting for something. But we do have a painful, hurtful ending here, a completion of something. But then we have a solid solid movement forward here with the Knight of Pentacles. Again, trying to come in with that offer. So I feel like they're still going to try to come in with this offer. But I feel like you're going to be defensive and you may just end it because maybe of your own um, insecurities. But I feel like they are very stable, somebody you can trust, they want long term, they have love, they have passion. But I feel like for some of you Aquarius, you may have the energy of not like loving yourself enough to actually accept this, maybe out of fear, insecurities. And you may put up a shield, put up a guard and just end this connection. They just may move on here, may move on with or without you, but I still feel like they're st still trying to come in here with the stable, secure offer with with you, and they're trying hard to uh, fight for you, but I don't know. Some of you may, may not have it here. You may just walk away and end it. Wow. Because I do definitely see love, stability, chemistry, soulmate energy, and it's safe to love in this situation. Let's see what's on the bottom. Yeah, feeling inner conflict here with the five of wands. But there could be healing. If you can heal yourself and have faith, hope, optimism, this is the wishes and dreams coming true, divinely guided energy. So I do feel like this is soulmate energy. They're hoping and wishing for you to get over this inner conflict so they can have their wish and dream come true, which would be you, if you could heal. Because there's definitely love and emotions here with the Queen of Cups, King or Queen, doesn't matter. Strong love and emotions. But ultimately, you may decide just to walk away out of fear and securities. They want to work together on this with the Three of Pentacles, slow, practical 
approach, baby steps. But you may choose to be stay independent here with the Nine of Pentacles energy. Going in retreat mode and just going off on your own. But we do have balance here. Patience, balance, healing energy. If divine energy coming in here with the Ace of Swords saying, if you could see the truth and clarity of the matter, that this is a very successful um, connection. This is divine intervention with the Ace of Swords. That this is a soulmate energy that you can trust. There'll be patience, balance, healing energy, transformation. But... I feel like here, if you can see that truth and clarity and balance yourself out and heal and have patience, if you have to spend some time alone to think about it off on your own, they definitely want to work it out. Small, uh, smart, practical approach, baby steps, working out, moving forward. But you may end up walking away, even though there's love and emotions here, because you may have this <clears throat> so much inner conflict about either uh, yourself, or this connection, but it's definitely divinely guided energy here between two soulmates. Wishes dream coming true. They definitely see you as your their dream come true. It's divinely guided energy, but there's too much, I feel, inner conflict. <clears throat> if it's not you, then it could be your person. If you feel like the energies need to be switched. But let's see, who do we have here? We have we have Sagittarius. We have Virgo. We have Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Aquarius. We have Libra Gemini Aquarius. Uh, let's see. We have Pisces. We have Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Energy here. I don't want to miss anything. So those are the signs, major signs that I see, but it's too bad here, Aquarius, that if you could open your heart and heal yourself and get over your inner conflict, insecurities, or fear, I'm surprised we didn't get the Nine of Swords here. Um, I feel like this could be a lifelong potential for a true soulmate, but let's get some closing energies here for you, Aquarius. Closing energies you Aquarius and I do ask Aquarius especially if you're new you like my style and how I read check out my channel you like what you see please feel free to like share subscribe and comment I love to read the comments hit the bell you won't miss out you get five readings a month two loves two generals and a bonus so let's get some closing energies for you here this deck is very hard to shuffle so closing energies for you here Aquarius Closing messages for Aquarius Spirit, please. Thank you so much. I'm going to take from the top. So we have trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform, right? If you can trust yourself, this connection, this person, it will automatically transform. And I feel like this is a really good connection um, if you can get past this energy. And then we have Romance Cupid's Arrow Strikes. And I definitely feel like they're really trying hard here to strike you with their arrow. And you're being a little defensive and on guard here. And we have Healing. Wow, so two cards. Well, we have Healing here. Uh, the Star is about Healing. You saw that over there under the deck. But Healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed at this very moment. So this, there can be Healing here. You... Between you and your person, this can work out. So let's get one under the deck. A message for you. I'm thinking of you at this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So this person definitely, definitely loves you. There's definitely love and emotions here. But I feel like there's also a lot of conflict. And I feel like it could be with you. <clears throat> if not, then it's your person. But um, decision is ultimately either up to you or your person. Somebody may turn their back and walk away over fear, insecurities, feeling uh, low self-esteem and worth. When the other person really, really sees you as their soulmate. Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius. Well, best of luck to you. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. 
And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.